Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. It's Celine Driver once again coming to you with an unboxing and review of a watch that I picked up on Kickstarter uh, many, many moons ago. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Kickstarter and its cousin, Indiegogo, very simply, a company or an individual or whoever come up with an idea for a product. Uh, could be anything, could be watches, could be jewelry, could be uh, backing a movie project or a book or a record album. It could be literally anything. I mean, very limited only by the imagination, um, oh, therefore unlimited. Um, they create a campaign saying that if we make X number of dollars, uh, we will produce this product and send it to you. Um, and they usually have different perks and the, pro uh, the product is usually sold at a lower price than it would be at uh, retail level. Uh, for instance, uh, this watch, which is a uh, Dorenzo, uh, DRZ03 um, retails on their website for, uh, according to the current exchange rate, of approximately $735 US. But I got it for $550. Normally, I don't talk pricing on, uh, on my videos, but I just wanted to point out to you that uh, there is... Uh, certain advantages to buying on Kickstarter. Also, this watch comes with extra straps that are normally options on the website. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got here. We have a very nice, thick cardboard outer sleeve. Nice and thick. You can see right there. We have... The bottom of the box, which has a few goodies in it, we have the Dorenzo warranty card showing this is serial number 590. That's out of 750 watches, according to the stamp on the uh, watch over here. And it was purchased on 201020, which I guess is European for um October 20th, 2020. I mean, that's the day, the month, the year. We usually do it month, day, year. But all those euros, those crazy kids. Uh, we have a little, you know, mini instruction book. It's very nice, very, it's nice, glossy, high quality paper. They threw in a uh, blue NATO strap which everyone knows my feelings on NATO straps. That's not going to be used by me. And they put the logo on the bottom there. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have. I mean, you know, perks perk, right? Inside this very nice canvas roll. And I did do a review of their DZO, DRZ03 prototype many months ago. If you want to refer back to that, um, video that's fine um i don't think there were any major changes to the watch you have a black rubber strap which again i'm not using um this pocket is empty and in here still wrapped in its plastic and i guess i better take the zelos that i'm wearing off because i'm going to do a wrist shot later i'm uh, by the way wrist check i'm wearing my Zelos ZX2 chronograph. Okay, love that watch. And here's the watch. This is the DRZ03 Eclipse in blue. They also made a uh, green one and a red one. I think the red one was a stretch goal. If they reach a certain amount of money, they'll, uh, they'll add other perks. They call them stretch goals. Um, but this one is staying wrapped up for a very specific reason, but I won't go into right now, but 
it's still wrapped in this plastic. I have not o opened it. I have not sized it. I have not even opened the clasp because it is also wrapped in plastic. So I guess, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do a wrist shot. Oh, well. Pity. Uh, nice watch. Nice looking watch. Um, very different dial. The black center, the the uh, the, the blue um, outer um, ring with the indices in it. Uh, just you know, very nice watch. Very very slim for a diver. This is considered a dive watch. Uh, the bezel is wrapped in plastic. Or I, I don't I don't know if I can take that off. Maybe it'll move. Yeah, it will. It's a very nice, smooth bezel action. Lines up perfectly. Where'd my little doodad go? I want to keep that around. Keep the crystal protected. You know it's, you know, tough crystal. Very nice backing. Um, kind of a compass motif there. I think it's a compass anyway, but solid case back as you can see the links are secured with screws it's a uh, it's it's a very and you can see that it is a milled out class so i know i can't open it but you can see that it would um the center section would come out so it is a milled clasp lots of uh micro adjuster you got two four six anchor points on the micro adjuster it's a flip lock with a double push button pop on the deployment. So it's a double locking clasp. So very solid and secure. Screw down crown, of course. Uh, this is the no date version. Uh, both versions use the same um, movement. So first click is a ghost position on this watch. But the second position, as you can see, hacks the movement and you can set the watch. And then it screws in very smoothly. A couple of turns and it's secured in. It is a signed crown. It's kind of hard to see without with that blue protection on it, but um, it is a signed crown. Signed buckle as well. Very nice. Very nice watch. Got that nice H pattern links, as I said, secured by screws. So solid, and this is a hefty watch. It, it feels like a good quality Swiss watch, which is what it is. Uh, this watch originates uh, when it was shipped from, uh, to me, it was shipped from uh, Geneva. So this is absolutely a Swiss made um watch with all the uh, quality uh, that is um, assumed by that. I have my sheet O facts here so we can learn uh, more about this watch together. As I said, it is the Dorenzo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It looks to me Dorenzo, D-I-R-D-R-N-Z-O, okay? Could be something else, but uh, you know, I'm I'm American. I speak two languages, English and bad English. So to me, it's Dorenzo. Dorenzo DRZ03, a.k.a. the Eclipse. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, as I showed you earlier, it is serial number 590 out of 750. Interesting because I was back a number like 656, but I got serial number 590, so... The backer numbers did not correspond perfectly with the serial numbers, but that's okay. Uh, it is a 316L stainless steel case, 316L stainless steel bracelet, 316L stainless steel clasp. The clasp, uh, the bracelet integrates very nicely to the case. There is no gap. And the, uh, the, the, the bracelet does drop very nicely away from the case, which is a good, um, a good thing when you're worried about the broadness of the watch on your wrist. 
Uh, it uses a double dome sapphire crystal. You know, I'm going to take this off again so you can get an idea. It is a domed crystal. Slight dome. It is double domed with AR coating. It is um, a 40 millimeter diameter watch with a 20 millimeter lug width, a 12.5 millimeter thickness, including the crystal. Want to make that clear because some people beat me up over that. And tip to tip is 47.5 millimeters. That's the only measurement I had to take myself. Uh, the other measurements were provided by Dorenzo. It's a 200 meter diver. Um, and it is deploying a SW200-1 Salida movement, aka Swiss movement, aka a very good and well-reputed copy of an ETA. The case kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, of a Rolex. It has that kind of Rolex super case vibe, maybe not quite as thick as one of them. But it does give that off that sort of uh, impression, if you will. And just overall, a, a great watch. I mean, I've, I've, I've been on and off a good supporter of Kickstarter. I mean, Zelos, my favorite brand of all, in, at least in, in the, in the um, moderate, uh, low, lower to moderate price range watches, uh, started off as a, uh, a, 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 a Kickstarter micro brand. So nothing wrong with Kickstarter micro brands unless your uh, watch happens to be uh, from a company with the initials FL. Then you got big problems. <laughs> but we're not going to get into that. You can go find that rant on another uh, video if you'd like. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. But yeah, just a really nice quality Swiss watch at a good price. So very happy with this uh, watch and you know when you know when you wait this long for a watch if you're happy with it when it comes out of the um out of the uh, box there's nothing really more to say is there so if you enjoyed this video and uh enjoyed the watch please give it a thumbs up clicking on that like button or thumbs up button or whatever you want to call it um, it does help my channel. The more likes uh, videos on a channel get, the more likely it is that the YouTube search algorithms will bring that channel into the search and bring that channel high into the search uh, results. So thumbs ups help. Questions, comments, suggestions down below. I read them all. I respond to them all. However, if you are going to troll me or you're going to put up links that send you uh, that send people off into uh, the dark web or into fishing expeditions, and I don't mean fishing with the gills. Uh, I will delete the post so it will not be seen, and I will block you so you will not be seen. Uh, if you're new here, of course, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Uh, glad you're here. Glad you stopped by. Uh, please, on your way out, uh, after watching many of my videos, I hope, uh, click the subscribe button. And when you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon next to that so that when I upload new material or I go live, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at noon Eastern time or whenever the mood strikes me, you will be alerted to these things and then you can participate. So, uh, thank you once again for watching. Stay well, stay healthy, be safe out there. We'll see you again soon.